Let's give hands to them. God bless you, the wife from Goshen. May God give you more anointing. When I see young people standing here praising God, may God bless you. At the age of children at, at your age that, who doesn't know what you have known are not here praising God. Like Daniel in, the, in Canada here, it, you guys are showing that there are people who have known God and who are still sticking with God. Our prayers are to see our children seeing you and being, uh, you should be the example for them. 
And may God bless you so much. Relax a little bit, drink some water. You're not going anywhere because you're going to come back. I'm so excited. I would like to ask if we have a guest among us, not the ones from Goshen, please stand up so we can welcome you. Praise God. Please welcome them and greet them. May you be blessed by our Lord. We welcome those uh, following us online. We know that there are so many. As God do uh, good to us, may he does the same to you. Uh, Mama, may God bless you as well. If you have a home church and then you go back, just tell them that we will we, we see you here and we will see If you have a home church and then you go back, tell them that we, we, we said hello. But if, but if you don't have a home church, this is a, for our father's house, you can come back. Um, I would like our senior person to come and welcome officially our guests. Hallelujah. 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 If there is someone that is an enemy to us, it's time. But this is just a practice that we are in. There is one morning that there will be no limited of time. I'm so glad more than Beatrice is finished saying it. But let me say it for you. I know that you are so happy. Let's clap for our God. Before I welcome visitors, I was talking to a pastor from Goshen. Uh, the reason God brought us in this country, the most important reason is to worship God so that other people can know that we have God. Shift is a accessory because yeah, so the shifts can just be there. If it's possible, maybe once in three months, we can have find some time. Is it, or do you think that we cannot do that? I don't think so. It's really great. May God bless you. I will call all the pastors uh, from Zion Temple. May God bless you, pastors. Ah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is good. Uh, we have been blessed, as I said, to be with our brethren that we were invited. About three weeks ago, uh, the uh, the, our choir, the Ark, had visited the church of Goshen. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Surely as children of God, we don't have to have limits because we are all being called to be God's people. And so after that, we asked them, can you come and greet us too and visit us? And we agreed upon this day that they will be here. And you did great that you came. May God bless you. And we have uh, Christians from Fresh Mana that are here. May God bless you as well. I see Chris, uh, Christina. Just do like this. Just wave. Hallelujah. Amen. Majana. I see Majana. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is there anyone from fresh manner that I did not see? Yes. May God bless you. Too. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Who came from another church apart from Goshen? Only the angels came from heaven at here. We also welcome them. So we will come our brethren from Goshen. Who packed food for us that we should be eating for a long time. We are with uh, the pastors from Goshen. I would like Goshen pastors to stand up. <laughs> Hallelujah. Let's give hands to God. We are with uh, pastor, uh, senior pastor Joseph Kandinda. We are with the administration of uh, we are with Eugene Makombe, the head of administration. We are with Benon, Hallelujah, Finance. Head of uh, Finance, uh, Benon. We are with uh, Pastor Benjamin Rupia. Davas, Hallelujah. I know them. Uh, the one who's head of intercession. May God do well to you. The Bible tells me the, pe the honorable people should be honored the so, way they should. But at the end of the day, the only God in heaven is the one who should be honored. May you be seated. Uh, it's our, your father's house. One person came to me and then said, do you know what happened? That always remind your children that even if you're a Christian and a senior pastor, that you, God doesn't have uh, grandchildren. Uh, I think you didn't understand he what it means. They, they should know that uh, they are not just uh, uh, children that they are going to be raised as grandchildren. God has only children, no, not grandchildren. Personally, you have to see Kugirango God so that you be called a child of God. God. We are with a Christian who came from Goshen Church. Could you please stand up so we can welcome you too? Amen. We are with the singers, the mothers. May God do well to you. And you decided really well. Pastor Joseph always says this. Uh, sometimes I go to fellowship with them. Right? Uh, visitors, even if we welcome you just a little bit, just feel like we welcome you real a lot. Just know that we welcome you a lot. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So let's sit and be comfortable. We are in the house of God. We are in the house of God. So last time there's a mother that would not welcome as they say that one place passed us. I think she's not here today. But even if you're not here, we welcome you. Mama Kazadi. Mama Kazadi. She has been away for a long time. Because we sit at the front chairs, we don't see at the back. But... God do well to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are with our other brethren. Uh, she's our daughter. I will just We are with Papa Daima. He, he, always, he always tells me that he's not a visitor. He's a Zion 50%. 
he was baptized in Zion Temple and he grew up in Zion Temple. So we are all children of Christ where he fellowship And we love you. We have our daughter here, Grace. May God bless you that you are here. And may God put an end on that pain. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Nothing is impossible for him. Where the doctors are unable to do. God is able to do it. You did all great. Let me not take more time. We have a lot of problems today. I will ask our visitors pastor when pastor finishes to preach please, please give us just 15 minutes because there is another problem that will be led by, by uh, Papa John and, and it's also good it's a part of God yeah we will respect the service of the so that means when the pastor pre after preaching I will ask John right away to come here and lead us in another action may God bless you may God bless you we're joyful to have, to have you here Dasaba uri kuri muri technique ashireho amatangazo ya programme ya you ya somene ya church yacu abantu bawe bayasoma tubandanye izindi gahunda As we continue I would like the people who are on project to project all the weekly uh, activities Bene data mwa mwa je kubana natwe na cyane cyane bari abana bankoze ku mutima cyane they, those children have touched my heart. But all of you who are here and we're in the same uh, house of God. Uh, we just want to say something uh, as if it's a welcome to you. I just want to tell you that what we're doing is not for nothing, my brethren. Our God is faithful. So, uh, this morning we are going to have that's when Jesus was going to Peter's house and found that uh, his uh, uh, mother-in-law was sick. And the protocol Because he was a friend to that family, did not uh, need any protocol. He just went in and touched the mother, and the mother was healed. In that family, only Peter had be, had fought Jesus. His uh, uh, mother-in-law was not a part of them. But because Peter was a friend of Jesus, so he gave the other family always to be helped when they needed they need help. So for us to have decided to follow Christ, my brethren, to be his, our friend, it's a great thing to us. And it's a, and it's a great, uh, great thing to our, our sisters, and brothers, and our friends. So today I'm praying that so you can stay with that friend that you have chosen. So that without protocol, let him come in your heart and stay in your heart. Uh, we have announcements. We have a youth conference that will be in Orlando next, uh, next month. It's not only a Zion Temple conference. Alone. So anybody who really wants to go to Orlando in this conference can go. But we are reminding those who pledge to give money to support this uh, ministry. 
ko um, inkunga yacu ya nyuma tuzoyita tuzoyirunge ka Orlando uh, Lokenzi itarike 15 uh, our last contribution will be sent in June the 15th no, that May this oh, May the 15th sorry that's the last day ni ni kwa kabiri that will be on Tuesday no nero turabinginze aba pledges bakaba taraheza gushitsa ico bemeye so I plead with you for those who have really are pledged to bring their contributions so it can be sent on time. May God bless you as you support his ministry. Um, I'm very glad that I see uh, my, my sister Grace. I thought we were going to, see, to, to sing together, but so, it's a special day today. So I'm very keep, uh, keep your songs and let them be anointed so can, we can sing it another time. I would uh, welcome our brethren from Goshen again. As we give offerings so they can lead us in that. Also, also the ushers can help us to lead us in uh, offerings. Let's do it quickly so we cannot take much time. I would like Pastor Benjamin to, to pray for the offerings. Amen. Mana Trabushima, Kurumasuanone, Trashim Baragazawi, Trashim Makugrane Zakawi, Trashim Makotriano Abanga Navarcha, Zinim Baragazawi, Bruno Rukundu Dukund, Trashim Abenedata, Weme Kotuana Navakurumos. Yumanya tugeze mu mwanya wo gutanga amaturo yawe mana reka ibya bizakorwa nayo maturo bizabingira kamaro kandi bihuza imitima yacu kugira ngo tubashe gukora neza tutagira na kimwe cyabasha kurogoya umugambi dufite imbere yawe turagushima rero reka ibikorwa byose hano mana bibe byiza kandi umurimo wawe waguke cyane Bini bjo tukifuz. Eka maturo. Tuwe usara muri kano kanya mana. Aza agiru mugisha mwemiru 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 dukora. Kandu kome zuwane na atuwe. Muri bjo se ni muri zina jawa yesu. Amen. Hallelujah. Tugiye gutambira imana mu minota dusigaranye ababishoye bahaguruke tufatikanye go guhimbaza imana Haleluya Zavi bihumbi turamyu mukiza tuzamuri rimbira twese uri mari kiranu kamuri byose uturira mutumira tuzaba tuzavi bihumbi turamyu tuzamuri rimbira twese uri mani kiranu Urimana, urimani kira nuka muri yose. Utu ni damu tu kira. Tu sabi mi humbi, tu sabi mi humbi. Tu ram tu ram tu kira. Tu samu ni humbi.
Bana turaguye baki. Bana imbaraka sawe. Bana turaguye baji izina rya we ryubahwe ma. Turaguye baza kuri uyu mwanya ukomeje kutugirira neza papa. Wewe ujuye duri bihu kavuga ngo tubeho. Tukabaho. Ukavuga ngo tugende tukagenda ma. Turasaba imbaraka za. Turasaba kunesha ma. Le peli de mas. Le kotit elemeni de mas. Proriti e fori de mas. Jajwa. Ibaraka za wende kukomera kwa. Kukomera ni baraka ni ja yesu. Chuba ilono kunesha na vjo ni je. Itangi ilono yere zoni ubitegeka. Ara komeye. Mana ibaraka za wende kukomera. Kunesha kwawe, uritangi ni lukandu kabiheres. Iyo vuze ngo, ibi tubibe, biraba. Kuko, nabgu rumu ana umu. Nabgu ukwerera muli famii. Nabgu ukwerera muli kabinet. Nabgu ukwerera muli neta. Aungu kora, uri independent ma. Uri independent. Iyo vuze ngo matu, tubewo. Tugiri mtise. Tulagu ibashi ukuri mana yuwa kusenga kwa 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 Yule lava ona kieni tia tu ngeturi mna tu gashiba kuri usibiza guhimbazi manaus. Amen. Tu ikuere ringa mata sabi kuere juo na abuze ni mbeju zaba. Umu sufite no ingo yu uzazo msaaro. Amen. Watu reme ya kugu himbaza tu ravi gushimira. Watu reme ya kugu himbaza tu ravi gushimira. Watura me ya kugu imbaza. Watura me kugu imbaza. Tura bi gushimira. Tura bi gushimira. Watura me ya kugu imbaza. Watura me kugu imbaza. Tura bi gushimira. Tura bi gushimira. Yesu, watura me ya kugu imbaza. Watura me kugu imbaza. Tura bi gushimira. Yesu.
Praise God in singing or just dancing. But praising God doesn't need to wait for Sunday. We need, that has to be our lifestyle, praising God. Praise God when we're at home. Praise God when we're at work. And praise God when we're with our brethren. And then on Sunday, come here and praise God as we always do. May God be glorified. Let's welcome our senior pastor. Hallelujah. Oh, may God bless you. We're in a good time to welcome the word of God. Like I said, if you're not practicing now, it's going to be hard Eternal. There will be an internal praising and worshiping in heaven. Let's pray for the servant of God. Father, we thank you for the Mwami mitima yacu yose iteraniye aha ndagusaba nkwinginga data ngo hoye kuba umuntu uteranira aha upfusha uyu mwanya ubusi jambo ryawe ritugirira kamaro koresha umugaragu wawe natwa bice imana amatwi imitima yacu yafungure kugira ngo twumve ijambo ryawe mana amaranga mutima yacu rimwe na rimwe aradushuka ibindi byose biradushuka ariko icyo dutegereje ni ijwi ryawe gusa urakoze kukuri imana igira neza Rakoza yuko ari wowe utumira ukanahaza abo watumiye ni wowe mazi mazima amari nyota ni wowe funguro rizima rihaza ni wowe byose muri byose reka manu waje afite ikifuza hangaha asubira inyuma cyashubijwe kuko yahuye nawe urakoze kuba ririmbyi badufashije muri uyu munsi ubaho umugisha ndasabira ubuto bwabo n'ubukumi bwabo kugira ngo uje ubibibukira wa mana we uzabagirire neza Mugaragu wawe Dawidi aravuga ngo nari muto none ndashaje ntabwo nigeze mbona umukiranutsa rekwa ndakwinginga wa mana we ngo ntukigere ubibagirwa narimwe uri mana ya generation en generation abaza kumukaho nabo uzabagirire neza girira neza rero umukozi wawe umukoreshe n'umusemuzi we muri uyu mwanya maze mana ituze ryo mu mitima niryo dutumije muri aka kanya kugira ngo twumve ijambo rya nkuko wari duteguriye mu izina rya Yesu Kristo dusabye twizeye amen Kadukomere imana yacu amashi menshi cyane. Ndumira n'umukozi w'Imana. Muvandimwe wacu. Our brethren. Inshuti yacu. Our friend. Mukuru wacu kuri bamwe. Our elder brother. Namurumuna wacu kubandi. And our uh, young brother to. Hallelujah. Kugira ngo atugeze ho ikimana yashize ku mutima. So that he can give us what God has put on his heart. Mani kugire neza cyane. May God do well to you. Amen. Amen. I used to be a singer back in the day. No But now no more. But Solomon once said that one time precedes another. And so my time I gave it to others. 
now I have another time. And I have, I have a small amount of time left on this time to give it to others. And I believe in that that is going to happen. Uh, before I go back to a song that they sang that they sang earlier. I'm very happy to be here in Zion Temple. I'm happy that God made me re reach this day. Uh, last time we say that this is the day. It was that day. God creates new new things for us every day. Today we have greater blessings than we had last week. And so for God to help me reach this day, I want to give him glory. Amen. Amen. Another thing. I praise the God that protected you and protected my own. And who continues in who continued in his plans for us to, to reach this day. I think the God who made this day work for us. What I do know. It is because this that we are in a war. You can hang out with somebody thinking that they think the same way you do. And you think that they understand the same way you understand. And you think that they have the same time as you. But it changes in a small amount of time. You, you share lunch. And then you do not share your dinner. And you can share dinner. Let us share what's in the morning. Amen. Amen. There's a reason that I'm saying these words. That I do not know myself. But I know that this is how it is. I am, I'm getting close to you. I'm fellowshipping with you that I see and those that I cannot see. I'm fellowshipping with you to hear the word of God to share with you what God prepared and let, us, let it have a use in our lives so that it may prepare us for the day that we will reach heaven. Good morning and welcome to the word of God. Let every singer who came with me or worshiper who came with me please stand. We will sing one verse of one of the songs that you sang earlier. And after we have finished, you may see it. And I will speak for as long as God will give me. And God will do what he wants to do. May God bless you. We will sing this song that you sang. It's a song that says, what, another thing is that in Christ we come and find whatever we need. The Bible has 66 books. If you want to read it, you would not be able to read it in one day. Unless you just want to read the titles of each book. And then you continue to read just the titles. Then you may be able to read the, the entire Bible in 10 minutes. But if you want to read the Bible, you can read it for a long time. I cannot, I'm not able to read it. But today, this week I, I, I tried to read it all. And uh, my heart was telling me, look at the servants of God with the word. And I, I, I read. And I prayed. And I thought it was finished. And then after I spent some time away, another thing comes. And I read again. And then I say, this is it. And then well, after another time, 
and I, and I, I can't reach it anymore. I'm not sure I slept I slept at home by myself with a little light by myself the the but I was with a great man and I feel and I felt like it, I, I could not have enough of it but the, but there came a time where my heart told me and confirmed that this is what God wants. To, for me to be here. And then the moderator, the, the moderator has said the same word. And the singer, the worshippers sang. And they sang the same words. And so I said, this is what God wants to happen to I was not with, I, with any of you yesterday or before. Amen. Uh, we were together, some of you were together in my shifts, but we were, did not talk about it. And so may God be praised to give us a this word. Let me tell you, we are going to sing, but I'm, we're going to sing after I tell you what we're going to talk about. Keep thinking about it, and after I'm finished, to, to sing, I will say what God will put in my mouth, and after this we will be seated. And however the time goes, Imana, we'll go. may God bless you. Imana, may God bless you. We will speak about, of a word saying to be strengthened. I will leave you there. Let us sing that verse.
Amen. Let's read. You can read? Yes. <laughs> the Spirit of the Thank Lord you. God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and, to, and the opening of the prison to those who are bound to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn. Amen. Let us say amen. Uh, there is a sickness that's been going around lately. And when I reached here, I heard that it's here also. It is the strength to, for someone to leave their home to come in the house of God. To come knowing their purpose. But when they get here, they say, praise God. And then nobody answers amen. What, when they say hallelujah. That is, a, that is a saying from heaven. They say hallelujah. I, I, when I heard them, they were minimal. I do not like it. Sometimes, some, some, sometimes somebody said hallelujah and I was the only one who answered. And I asked myself where everyone was even though we were all sitting here. When they say hallelujah, you may answer hallelujah or amen. Amen. If you say amen, you will say it is, let it be as you say. Or how God has ordered it, but not me. Let us answer one another. <laughs> but some people who invented slogans. I saw one child who cried a lot. And I did not know what they were remembering. Her, his name or her name was Kabila. And they cried and they cried. When we get before God, we came to be relieved. We came to praise God according to what he's done for us. And when we get here, when somebody says amen, nobody answers. You, can you stay in the same clothes you wore the entire night in the morning? 
Did you keep the same image that you had? Did you always are you always going to keep the same problem you had yesterday? But if somebody tells me to go in the prime minister's house and he says I need you today. I would run so fast. <laughs> Because I, I, want, I have curiosity to know what he wants from me. And, he, and I would ask myself, in the entire country, he would ask for me? What is he going to give me? And then I, I would feel some type of way. And so our father who's great in the one I just spoke of, He's the one who gives kingdom. He's the one who gives kingdom. He's the one who dresses in injustice. And he calls you to come in this morning. And then you come here and you don't do anything. And you don't have any happiness. Who, who cursed you? Amen. Amen. Let us be great, joyful when we get to the house of God. That's what Jesus said. He said, I rejoice when they said, let's go in the house of God. We had this story for a long time that we were going to be with our brethren in our temple today. We love you and we support you. Amen. Amen. And today we came. Uh, the elders say. They said that one mountain goes down and another one rises. Yes, uh, last time you guys brought gifts to us. Uh, the father and the mother's choir came in Goshen. And they, they fed us and we were filled. And they danced. <laughs> and, they, and after they danced, we said we could not take it. We must go visit them also. And tru truly, we, we, we rejoice in your welcome. And we, are, we continue to rejoice in it. Pastors, the pastor said that it should not be just like this. He said that we should create a time to always praise God together. When we praise God, God rejoices and the entire heaven rejoices and that is why you see some people crying without you knowing why. And you rejoice, you, you're filled with joy without knowing where it's from. And you did not give any sacrifice. Amen. And you just were filled with joy without having any physical proof. Truly, we are very happy that you invited us. And so we came to answer your invitation. But our, our debt to you is not over. We see that the debt that we have, we can continue to pay and pay and pay. Our shoes would grow, would grow, would grow away. Before we, before we finish, our hair would turn gray. Before we finish paying. But one morning, we will continue in the kingdom. And so we, will, we thank you for loving us and to support us. And so we said that today's word is to be strengthened. There is something that is strength, something is strengthened when they are, when they has no power. And there's another way to give strength to something that was already strong and it's stronger than the one that was there before. 
umuntu ashaka umuka iwa rumuri mumaze kugabanuka nico giye bazana mbomboni kugira ngo bamushire mu mazuru atangira humekerwa mu nimyuka ya oxygen when somebody is lacking of oxygen they seek for oxygen that's why they give them an inhaler so that they may receive more oxygen those who eat don't have any more strength i used to, uh, my, my brother was sick once and they put one of those breathing masks on him and he told me that it was killing him whether when i would take it off of him he would he would faint and then when i would put it back on he would come back to life and i said this is not life we have a spirit that God put in us that is not a, a spirit of the inhaler. You do not know how to praise God because you do not know how how strong you're supposed to have. Supposed to be. You don't know how to how to praise God because you don't know how you should. You should and so we cannot go to heaven like this. Oh yeah. No. We know we have a way that we're going to the word of God says that we will be changed. We the word of God says that we will, that we will look like Jesus and it's not like having the flesh that you see here. I could get sick and you could not be able to look at me even though I look good now. Do you know the story of, of Herod? Herod was beating his chest to, as a king. Because a king always rejoices in what they do. They always say that they, nobody else can do what they do. And God told him, you're lying to yourself. And then he hit him. And, and he became sick. And then he started and sex started coming out of him. Was he not alive? Wasn't he going and walking as I walked? And he was a king. I don't know how he was dressed or how he was protected. But these, this flesh that we, that we, that we're arrogant in, we don't know. Let us put it on the side and praise God. He is the only one who's worthy of praise. Amen. Hallelujah. And so when they would they would put back the inhaler on my brother, he would tell me that it's killing him and it's hurting him. When they would remove it, he would And the, the end he passed away. And he passed away while having the inhaler on him. It did not give him more strength to live. That is why God got to a time where he's going to raise him back to death. And so getting back, being strengthened, there's a certain strength that we can be strengthened with. So that we may become strong. So that we may walk. And work. And we may speak. There is a strength that we might be There is a strength that comes from food. There is, a, there is a strength that comes from water. There is a strength that comes from other drinks. That, that strength comes to feed the flesh. So that they work work. And just live a good life. When the strength of the body is done, they, they examine and can't find the reason. And then when they find that you have no more blood, they search for a donor and they find a donor who has the same group as you. You don't, you don't know if the blood comes from a human or a rat or another animal. They just bring the blood from a, from a bag in the fridge and they bring it to you. And then they give somebody else's blood to your to life God gave to you. But I do not trust that type of life. 
They wa when they do that, they want to strengthen the same strength that they're give they, they would give to that person has a small amount of time to last. But there's another way that we feel that we need to be strengthened. The Bible says that even when we are old, we will continue to be, to be strengthened because of the word of God that we receive that is in us. When a seed does not grow old, it cannot grow old. Those who receive the word of God, those who receive the good news, it cannot grow old. You will continue to have strength. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. These children were singing for us. These strength, this strength they will keep it. until they grow of age. Because they have him who lives in them. The one who gives life. Paul said, it is not me who lives, but Christ lives within me. Amen. Amen. The word of God says that the spirit of the Lord is upon me. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. People love news. People love to hear good news. Nobody here does not like good news. I love good news. Let me tell you something. One time I was sick and I got sick. It was a long time ago. It was a long time for me. Not for you. Because there is another place that you may be. Oh, there's, there are people that I'm older than them that are younger than me. And so I will call it my past. If I tell you somebody who was born in, in, in the 50s and I tell you in the 80s, and, and the ones who were born in the 90s would say, were you alive back then? And yes, in the, in the 80s I was alive. And I was a good young man. Nobody, nobody was like Everyone loved me. But it is because Christ had, had, had glorified me. And so that time I was sick of the... Of the um, of the stomach. <laughs> we call it a stomach. And so I was very scared. And while I was walking, I would be paranoid. I speak very loudly myself. But if somebody spoke louder than me, and then I would be very sick and I would come back to normal tomorrow. And it, it hurt me for a, while, for a long time. And that time I was very weak. And I was very hurt. But one day, my father visited me. And three people came. There were four. They came in the house. They came to the place where I used to bathe. And they stood there. And they prayed. And after they prayed, they went home. The strength of God. It is greater than those of men. Praise God. I did not go to the hospital. Do you know what, where I was that time? I, I was in a place where I did not even want to go pray. And I, I used to go to conferences, but only because of the reputation I had. And I will only come because of my reputation. And while I, but while I was sitting in the, in the conference, my heart would tell me, why are you here? 
the, the plan of the enemy was that. It was to destroy the, the joy that was in our church. And so Satan said, after he has, he has helped me, he will do whatever he wants. That's why God uh, took those four men. And they came in my home and they prayed. And I became alive again and I had joy again. When a body does not have a strength, it has no joy. And when I would hear news, I would think that people were going to tell me bad news. And when they would come to speak to me, I would tell them, please Do not tell, but not tell me, hey, he bought a shoe. I would be very, I would be very low. It would, be, it would be as if you came to give me good news thinking that it's good, but I would not see it that way. And so I would ask them to speak to me as if it's something regular. If it is something of, if it was somebody who had passed away, come and say hi to me and ask me how I was doing. And then tell me how, how, how are you so happy today? And then let me laugh. And then tell me this person has passed. And my heart would be fine. And I did not have any fear. But if you had raised your voice just a little bit, I thought I would think to myself that there's just. And so there's good news and there's bad news. But the, but the news that the Bible is saying it is a good, it is a good news. It is what we have been given to tell those, those who have been bar heartbroken. They did not tell us the pagans, but they told us the heartbroken. Praise God. You can find somebody doing fleshly things and you think that they're heartbroken. And you think that they hate God. But they are just doing what they do because they don't know. And they would welcome you. And you can speak with them and have fellowship. And then you may tell them the good news. And then to tell them, to show you that they have been, that they were broken, heartbroken. The word of God says when you hear a voice, do not shake your heart. Let your heart and so if you are not able to, to okay, fight okay, it, and you are and you're able to open your heart, you are in the ones who are good, righteous. Those who want to hear the good news it is not it is not worldly news or, or it is the word of God the, the word of God told our brother our sister told us that the one who had followed Christ was silent only. but because of Peter his entire household was saved. the people were saved because of Peter if we have known Christ, our entourage or those around us will come to know Christ. Because we have something that we have been given through that strength. Amen. Because in the word of God, there's a strength that is greater than the ones of men. God gave us that spirit. So that it can stay on to us, the one that he anointed, so that we may tell those who are heartbroken the good news. That is our first, uh, first duty. You cannot speak of the good news while being weary. You cannot speak of the good news while being weary. You cannot speak of the good news being bound. We, we will speak of the good news because we have been freed without, without being uh, weary. 
There are things that make us weary. There are things that make us weary to prevent the word of God to be spoken. Even though we have news to give to people. We did not, we were not given the good news so that we may be We were not anointed to sleep. We were not anointed to sleep. We were not anointed to that we may be on but we were anointed so that we may speak of the good news. Amen. 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 So that we may speak of the good news to the heart, to the brokenhearted. He told me to heal. Did you think that to be a do- to, to be a healer you had to be a doctor? And go to school. And study chemistry, biology, biology. And then go study the anatomy. And the anatomy of the entire body. And others will study the bones and the ears and the eyes. And others will study the fingers and the feet. So that you may become a doctor. The word of God is telling us that it's not true. But that is not what is not because I am not saying that studying is wrong. Listen to me carefully. There are, I know some people who have studied greatly or to seek knowledge is good. But wisdom is given by God. We all have knowledge. We have all wisdom that God has given to us. But we may seek knowledge. God has given to us all of Except we cannot have it unless we move. It is, it is the same as somebody giving me, giving me fufu. Or, yes, and if they give it to me, and then I don't move my arm to go seek for the food. I wouldn't eat. But if it comes from my brain and then it, and then it orders my arm and then my arm obeys and then it goes and then it takes from it and then it brings to the mouth and then the mouth gives to the, my, to the throat and then the throat gives to my stomach. I will receive and I will receive so when I say amen. It is because I was willing to do it. Seeking knowledge is not wrong. We have been giving wisdom. Let us seek the knowledge of the, what we need to do. So that we may heal those who are the, the, the hearts of people. The, the broken hearted. So that you may heal the, the ones who are broken. People are broken. There are many things that break us. And since we have reached this country has been great. The people are being insulted by their own children. And then the children are cursed by their own parents. And then you find somebody who is very broken in their heart. And then they go one day and then another. And then they go to a week and then a month. And then from a month to a year. And then they continue to be broken. And, those pe- and the people who see him, they think that they're alive, but they're not. But they are broken. They are broken. They are hurt. And they continue to keep it. Let us heal the broken. Let us heal the broken. So that people may keep it. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! If we do not stand and heal the hearts, and to heal those hearts comes from you. If you will, you can heal somebody. And if you do not want to, even if I continue to speak, and I speak and speak, and I speak for an entire month, you cannot be healed because you do not will. 
I studied with people. And then some of them stayed in that grade. And then they, others went up to third grade. And then in fifth grade, some others stayed. And then in sixth grade, some of us went. And then we went in, in secondary school. And then in, in secondary school, I stopped there too. And the other ones continued. And then in my mind came something. And then in my mind came a thought, are you going to stay without knowing anything? And then the word came to my mind, mechanic. And then I told myself, I can just know how to repair cars. And then I went there for six months. But I did not have enough strength. I did not know what to do. I had knowledge. And I really knew what to do in mechanics. And, then, uh, and some of my friends who were pastors were still in school. And then I went to another school. They got their diplomas, but after six months, I did not have I, I was not, I'm not going to tell you something else because it would hurt you. Something that happened to me, you would not even know that it's me who's wearing this suit. But God knows. You know when mangoes are growing, there's like little seeds that come. Yatu yatu embe, no munyu, and so I would eat those little seeds from there and eat and drink water. My children do not know of this. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Knowledge is good. Let us know and work. It will be good. And so that brokenness that is in the heart, even if I keep speaking of it over and over, you cannot be healed if you do not want to be healed. I told you that I was sitting. And after this, I continue to think. Because if, maybe if I can't do mechanic, let me do let me do something else. And so I went to another school. Two years. And I got a certificate. And so I got a certificate. I got a certificate for grade 10. And then I went... <laughs> Oh, how am I going to go anywhere with such a little school? Just two years. Let me go in secondary school. And so I went to, to secondary school. And so I, I went, I, didn't, I skipped fifth grade and I went from fourth to sixth. And so when I reached sixth grade, I did not know anything. But God helped me. I was very knowledgeable. But I, I, w I had a problem with my own knowledge. And so God told me, if you stay here, you're not going to get a diploma. And if you go where I'm going to tell you, you will see scores that will surprise people. And so I, some people, some of you might be wondering what the score is. I would tell you the score is it's very good. And so I studied. When I'm, old, uh, when I'm older, I left her. Uh, when I was going to school, she has just been born. And so I got my diploma. I said, people get weary. People do not have the will. 
without lacking of anything to help them. And others lack of what to help them. If only everyone could go to the same journey, nobody would rule over another. But there are some things that God appointed. And that is why I even have fingers that are not the same length. So that it may be a, a, a lesson to if you, study, if you keep looking at your fingers and how they're not the same length, you may think about it. Even though you have the, it's from the same person. It is... It is a tecker, it is a Because if they were the same length, they wouldn't look good. But like this, they look good. They, would, <laughs> they look like a spoon. Amen. Amen. And so it is good to have a will. If we do not have a will to take out that weakness, to take out that brokenness in our hearts, we will continue to keep it until we die. But it would be good to fight those the weaknesses that are in the house from a, from a husband and a wife and the fight from a small thing and then when we reach these countries and other countries I, I, oh. um, the next Yes. So the one, the one who stood on my neck for a long time, I would not be able to see. And so, in other words, um, the the days that it was upon me, it would be many, it would be many days. And so, in other words, um, the the days that it was upon me, it would be and, and the wife would get to know that she is a submissive And the wife would forget that she's the wife and the husband of the hand and go to the Why do you not think that why the fingers are not the same length even though they were created by God? And you, and you think that you can be a man today and you can be a man today. The most important is that we can be a and let, the, the, let each other speak. And so ask one another and communicate. Even though you know what you think. But because you want to show them that you want to do a teamwork. You can ask them their, their opinion. And if they tell you a different opinion. You give your opinion also. I was thinking that we could do it this way. Would it be not possible? And then they would, they would think about it and see that it would be possible Meaning that we must communicate with one another. It is not a man who must stand upon the woman. And it is not a woman who must rule the man either. But so that we may be together and, 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 know, and know what may keep us in the and, and heal the broken hearts that we have. And eliminate all the other reasons that may, that, that may separate you. There are many, um, there are hurts that come from poor, from, from being poor. And so as I told you, I had a long life and I went through many things. How was I, how did I go through many things? If I go and think about the richest man, if I, without thinking about God who's the richest, I would think about, my, about me being poor. And then I would think about the ones that I asked for food and they would not feed me. Amen. 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 Amen.
You don't know you I would go ask without knowing if he's asking for something too. We have the one who gives what you give. When you are humble and you and you reach out to him, he will give to you without asking. But me I would do good unto you because you would do good unto me. Let us take off the weariness. If you're poor, do not put your you poor on me. You don't have to ask for money. And if you go ask for something to somebody and they tell you that they don't have it, do not think that they are keeping it from you. He gave us the spirit so that we may not have the spirit. That is what the word of God says. The, the spirit of God came to us so that we may not be bitter. If you had bitterness towards your friend, you not If you had any bitterness towards any servants of God, you not have it. If you had any bitterness towards any of your brethren in the church, leave it. Imagine if we're all singing here together, but your neighbor is thinking something bad about you. Why are you carrying that burden? Where are you going? Who are you going to hear? The word of God says. Because the Lord has anointed me to preach to good tithings to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted to proclaim liberty to the captives. Imbohe. The captives. Uh, we are not speaking of the captives that are imprisoned. This is not what Isaiah was prophesying about. He was... He was, uh, he, was, he was not speaking of the ones that are in jail. He was saying the, the captives of sin. He was speaking of our, of our Christ. He's the one who came. He's the one who had the spirit of God upon him. Remember the day where he was baptized in the Jordan. The spirit of the Lord came down in the, in the form of a dove. And the voice, and a voice came from the heavens and said, this is my son that I love and that I, that I rejoice in. Re listen to him. May God be praised. He was anointed. So that we may seek the sh for the Pastor, the pastor told us that that is the reason why we came in this So that we may praise God. And think of the things that he did for us. Remember that we used to be the captains of Satan. Remember that we used to be in great, in great sorrow. And that we were beaten greatly. Remember that he had freed us. And remember that he had freed us from being captains of sin. And that he gave us eternal life. And stand and go seek your others. And so the Bible says, Blessed are those that go, with that, that go and seek for others because they will be blessed. This is the time to stand and stop being weary and stop being weary. We have, the, we have a God who gives strength. We have a God who gives the spirit. He gave us his spirit and anointed us so that we may speak those, to those who are bound and tell them that they have been raised and tell them about the time that God has come to save us and tell them that, God, that Jesus came for them. And tell them that they must come and be our brothers. It is not those people that we see at the church. But we also have people in the church that are, that are bound. 
Those that have that that they are bound by their own flesh. The people that are bound by bitterness. People people that are bound by hate. People who are bound by judgment. People who are bound by thinking that they're righteous more than others. Those are here in the church. Those who are judging others without knowing to judge themselves. But Jesus said before judging others, judge yourself first. Before you speak of another person, think of the uh, think of the plot in your eyes. And think about what you're saying before you say it. And so after you've thought of what you do, and then ask yourself, what do people say about me? And then that will give you a lesson to learn how to live with others. But if you do not know how to examine yourself, it will, it will, we will not reach heaven. Let us change. Let us change. And wear the strength. Because there is hope in having that strength. We have that strength in Christ. A, a, a singer once said, even if we lose everything. He said, he said, all of those who are weary, come and I will give you rest. If you have something that is making you weary, today is the day to receive that that salvation so that you may be redeemed and that you may feel that you're free. And Jesus says, to, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of God to comfort all those who mourn. Satan, you have Satan made us, made us captive. Satan seeks for us. And, and Satan looks for just us. Satan goes against his brothers against each other. Just because of a small word. You all have phones. Would you not recognize a phone that calls you for the first time? How do you think of a person who calls you for the first time to give you some news? When, why am I writing to you and you do not answer me? They don't even have a profile picture. Would you not know? When you, feel, when you get that kind of message, how do you feel? Me. Let me tell you my ways. My character. How will, I, will, I say to myself, how do I know who you are if I don't see you? If that person would think that I'm judging them, even though I told them the truth. In our culture, if somebody calls you, they have a name. Oh, and then when they call you, you see their name and you rejoice. And when I write to you for the first time, I tell you who I am. And then I tell myself, oh, I've been waiting for you for a long time. But the ones who keep you guessing, who keep you guessing, you don't rejoice in it. I don't even want to know what to answer. We are, we are being hurt by something. And if that happens, what requires of us is to be patient. What I think is not what they think. And so when you answer that person, answer them well. Because what you are thinking is not what they think. Brethren, we are going in, in heaven. On the journey to heaven. This is the time to change. And to be free. 
This is the time to heal the And the ones who will heal those broken hearts are the ones who will heal the broken hearts. Uh, it is us who have been given the by God. It is us who have been anointed. That are supposed to heal the broken hearted. And, the and after that we have the heart of forgiveness. So that we may live in peace with all of us. And so that we may all see God. He stands so that we can pray. May God, may God give us, give us uh, hearts that are open and give us hearts that are patient. And so that we may be patient in the And that we may be patient towards our brethren that are going to be us. And that we may be patient towards those who are weak. That we may be patient to, or, to, or, to those <inaudible> who are <inaudible> insane. That we may be patient to those who have different thinking as well. <inaudible> that we may be patient with one another. <inaudible> that is when we can have fellowship and forgive one another. <inaudible> Full of forgiveness towards our brothers. <inaudible> to bring them to Christ and give them that medicine. Siga ho kwizera guke na huundi akizwa ibuke kopa oro na we yari tumwa ziwiziza yamufa shatungu we. Yemera gukezgu bwo abintu mwa ya Yesu ya mama zubuntu ge irashira irashira dori mi sirashira Dutavaru twese twegukererwa dutyo irashira irashira dori mi sirashira so that you may be strengthened to this journey to go and heaven. The word of God says that those who hope in the Lord will be strengthened. They will fly like an eagle. The word of God says they will run the banana And the word of God says that the, the youth will run and be weary. Let us, let us ask for the strength to not be weary. Through this way. We take him on the shoulder if this is of Zaranya's way, Avan Dutibaki Shimanira, Avan Dutibaki Nezerwa, Avan Dutibaki Gira, Tibaki Gira Nineza Kukozari Sansque, Kukuzishim of Zaranya's way. We know Emera Kutuga Rukundo Guambere. We know the Kura will be to the Quegerana. We know the Kura will be to the Gura Nawe. We know the Kura will be to a She, Kugera Motubasha Kuhok, Udukura Mizigo. Amen.
Thank you, servant of God. In the, in the name of the church. In the name of our brethren in Zion. We thank you very much. May God bless you. And if God wills you, you will come back. And when he wills us, we will come back. I will ask our brother John to come to give us what's on his heart. May God bless you.